from around the world, but let's remember freedom begins at home. And I feel more at home right here in Salt Lake City than I ever have. And it is because of the honesty and the determination and the decency of people like you. And I say decency because Utah is now becoming decent enough to walk the talk when it comes to not judging others. Lest we be judged ourselves. That is one more thing to be proud of as Utahns. We know how to mind our own goddamn business. Stay in your homes. Mind your own goddamn business. Take care. America, land of the free, free to make your own choices. Take the merit, take marriage for instance. Sure, I'm for gay marriage, but I'm even more in favor of gay divorce. <laughs> Especially when you discover that your soulmate is a narcissistic asshole, as happens to many of us. <laughs> how the hard uphill, uphill climb made by gay and lesbian and transgendered residents of Utah is so beginning to pay off. In many ways, the gay community, this gay community, is the tip of the spear. The real issue I'm talking about is the effort to keep bringing progressive attitudes to Utah and getting it out of the 19th century and even out of the 20th century. 20th century because that's the one I grew up up in the middle of right here in Salt Lake City. A century that began and for too long continued to be one where women were deprived of the right to vote, where it was illegal for a white person to marry a black person, and gay people were forced to hide their identities and submerge themselves in sham public lives so that their more decent neighbors and fellow citizens wouldn't condemn and persecute them for being who they are. <laughs> Bringing it closer to home, it was a time in which my wonderful, brilliant, kind kid brother Ben had his nose broken too many times to count by the time he was nine because he was a sensitive little boy who happened to not be manly enough or whatever the hell pissed off cowardly goons <laughs> who savagely persecuted and bullied him for that and for his being of the wrong religion. Well, here is another wake-up call for the self-righteous stormtroopers who serve ignorance in the name of religion with its harsh condemnations of those who don't goose-step to their brain-dead drum beat. There is no wrong religion. And just as importantly, in a nation that prides itself on freedom and tolerance, it's not wrong to have no religion. That's okay too. In fact, it's a right. Freedom of religion includes freedom from religion. Stop using the Bible or any of your other holy books to justify condemning and harassing innocent people who are breaking no laws, who are productive, tax-paying citizens. These are not your good old days. They were actually the bad old days for women, minorities, 
the working poor and anyone else who didn't fit the mold invented and enforced by sexist, racist patriarchs. I repeat, they weren't the good old days, ladies and gentlemen. They were the bad old days in too many ways for too many good people. But this makes me more proud of the state of Utah. I'm proud and relieved that milestone events and gatherings like this one here today make me want to say proudly and openly that those days are over. They're over. They're over. Who knew? Lost my mind. I hoped and prayed as a child someday that all of that would change, and it has. It has. surpass the days of 47 in size. With more than 100 entries, let's double that next year. We, we may have a ways to go, but we're not hiding and we're not running and we're not begging approval from those who hide behind fake propriety or 2,500-year-old hateful pronouncements from superstitious authoritarian patriarchs and polygamists. <laughs> no, we're walking in the light of a new century, the light of our full citizenship in a nation that prides itself on freedom, equality, and simple human decency. When I see how the brave young men and women in our armed forces are set to fight and die in foreign lands in the name of freedom and democracy, it pains me to witness how much our freedoms are withheld and being eroded right here at home. Don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> Let's keep doing our part here in our great nation to honor them by showing them that we're fighters too. <laughs> A peaceful revolution as important as the one that created this nation. And on a happier note, let's enjoy this brilliant celebration starting now. Let's hear it for the organizers of this amazing event, all the participants and supporters, and let's 